Hey everybody, Paul here, back with Hyrule Warriors. In the last episode, we did the Shikai Tribesmen. In this episode, we're going to be doing the Sorceress of the Woods. Let's get started. So in this one, it says to use Link in the Magic Rod, but you know what? We've already seen Link. Let's check out Sheik, our new character that we got. And she only has one harp to choose from, the Goddess's Harp. Link and his allies were saved from the dangers of the Elden Caves by a mysterious youth named Sheik. Joined by their new ally, Impa's troops exited the caves and emerged in Farron Woods. There, they found a hidden village overrun with monsters. While Link and Impa wanted to continue their search for Zelda, they could not ignore the plight of the villagers. Without hesitation, they sprang into battle. This sounds like it's gonna be a fun one. So, I haven't really done anything. We have a new character now that we are going to be looking after, Lana, who hopefully we learn more about soon. Current status: defeat Wizro. Warrior info. Um, I did. I it was able to add a combo for Sheik. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so yeah, let's try out Sheik. I don't really know anything about her yet, but so far, feels fun. And this is her strong attack. It's a nice little shield. Oh! So it looks like it changes depending on the final move we do, I guess? Yeah, because that makes it a dark. Oh, that's awesome. This is a really cool harp. And... Maybe we can throw bombs at the Deku Baba. Let's try that. Um, Deku Baba. Okay, I guess I can't. Um... You know what, let's try going this way. I see a little area I can capture right here. Let's capture it real quick. Oops. Oh well, this will be cool to see it finally. Oh, that is cool. It's like in between of Impa's and Link's. I think I like this uh, the best. It does the most damage, I feel like. And that one too, I mean, they're all fun. But yeah, you guys, we're back with this game. It's been so much fun with this game already. I mean, this is the third episode now. We're already getting into it, and I'm not gonna just stop playing it for you guys. I wanna keep playing this game for you guys, and I... I've been really wanting to just keep going, but I haven't because I wanted to play it for you guys, still blind. So yeah. 
Ooh, that didn't do anything. Um, maybe if we go this way. Is there anything over here? Ooh, what's this right here? We got the bow and arrows, at least. Uh, you got a bow and arrow. You got a bow and arrows. Use arrows to hit faraway enemies. You can also target and, st and attack strong enemies. That's great. <laughs> I guess that's how we defeat the Deku Babas. So, we have that equipped now. Okay, I guess I have to get closer. Yep, that's how you defeat them. They're okay as a weapon, but I'd rather use other weapons instead, I feel like. Okay, let's take out the rest of the Deku Babas. Let's take out this one real quick. Okay. Um, let's take out this one over here first. Just so... And I saw the the water around me. I don't know how long. I guess that stays on forever. But whatever it is, I hope it's good. Okay. Some materials over here, so let's get those. And then get the last Deku Baba. Oh, let's defeat the Orc Captain. I really like the heart, but I think it's a cool thing instead of maybe like doing something that would have been very, you know, predictable. Like having Sheik just use kunais or something. No, they made her use the heart, which is awesome. And I like the melodies that it, how it uses like the song of storms to create a storm. Okay, good. Now they opened up. Oh, God. Okay, come on. We can beat him. And we got him. I think I know what the water does now. I think it uh, protects me from ailments. Which is really good. What's fire do? Oh, that was kind of cool. Okay, now where's the keep boss? There he is. Let's use this on him. It's almost like it's a black hole, which is a cool attack. I still like the, uh, I think I still like the, this one the best, the lightning storm. Okay, let's defeat this Stalfos. Not Stalfos, Redead. Or Gibdo, that's what this one is. That's a really cool finisher. I'm liking Sheik as well. I still think Impa's my favorite so far out of the out of all the three that I've played as. But Sheik's a close second. And destroyed. Okay, I wanna ooh, silver. Get back this just so we don't have to uh, be ailed by any of the attributes that they might have or might give us because we really don't we really don't need that right now. 
Okay, let's get the remaining Gibdos, which are up there, I guess. Okay, let's use this. Song of Storms. Oh, look, there's Lana. Okay, come on. Okay, let's go up now. And defeat those Gibdos. With the water, uh... Um, it's not that bad, actually, with water. Gibdo is Gib dead. Yeah. Uh oh. That's not good. Um, let's get back up with our morale. Possibly by defeating these Gibdos. Okay, let's lightning them. Go away, give dough. Okay, let's let's keep heading this way. Let's take this area real quick. Oh god, there's two Gibdos. Okay. One left. Oh no, it's on fire! We have to defeat Wizra. Uh oh. It's all red. It's not good at all. Um. You're not dead yet? Okay, let's kill this Gibdo. Let's. Kill the keep boss. Now let's head back. Let's see if we can save that area. What am I supposed to do? Oh, is there a great fairy? No way. Where though? Where is there a great fairy? Is it there? No. Where is it? I think I found it. Northeast, I've been kind of taking care of stuff here. Ooh, let's try out this real quick. Oh, it's light arrows. That's awesome. And that's a, this is a cuckoo. Don't hurt it. Or else it'll hurt you. They made a rain cloud by putting other clouds all together. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. But yeah, I don't want to hurt that uh, Kaku because 
it's going to hurt me in the long run. And I don't want to die. Oh, at least if it's anything like its counterparts in every other single Zelda game. Which I'm pretty sure it is. Because why wouldn't it be? Okay. Can we defeat this Gibdo? Real quick. Gibdo seem really easy in this game. And I would... Uh, I want to tell you guys one other thing. I also got the DLC for this game already. Which is the... Uh, it's really cool actually. You... Well, it's not DLC yet, but it's a season pass, I guess I could say. Because they're going to be coming out with more of this game. Like, more stages and, I think, characters, I've heard. Uh, which would be awesome. And that starts October. I don't know when October, it just says it comes out in October. So, once that comes out, I'm probably going to show that off. Which would be awesome. Uh-oh. Uh, let's go get that... Spider real quick before it disappears. Let's listen for it. I have a feeling it's underneath here. Yep. Okay, cool. We got that Tultula. We got another illustration piece. Good. Let's switch back to arrows. I'm probably going to need those. And let's go take... Let's go take the right real quick. Just because can and it's almost taken anyway. Okay, let's use this. Okay, Gibdo's dead. Keep boss is dead. Ooh, what is this? It's probably just rupees. It looks like it's probably gonna be just rupees. Um open. Yeah, rupees, I figured. Okay, now let's go after Wizro and defeat him finally. This might be a shorter episode, I feel like, unless there's more to it. And I think there's more to it, because he just fled. But let's defeat these guys real quick. We got this, allies. We can beat them easily. Uh oh. Arthropod Cyclops Master. Oh, great. If it's like every other Goma, then the bow should be working. I don't know why it's not. There we go. Alright, almost, almost there. Just do your thing again. Or jump away. And what is Goma doing? Really? So now I have to run all the way over there? Okay. Let's run really quickly. Come on, guys. We can do this. Let's defeat Goma! So it looks like they are kind of reusing um, bosses, at least, which is kind of cool. 
Really? I just get here and... Ugh. Okay. I was gonna say. Shoot its eye. And... Come on. Oh, wait, what? It healed up its meter. That's stupid. Come on. Come on. That sucked. Okay, come on. Do it again. There you go. Good going. Come on. Come on, almost, almost. So close. Goma's tough. Oh no. Okay, come on. One more hit, and then I should be able to get Goma down to use my. Yes, there it goes. Ooh, right in the eye. So I know what I want to do next, though. Once she uses her beam again. Okay, good. Shoot. And use R. So we can use her special mode. Possibly get a lot out of them. Huh? Oh, that's cool. We can get even more out of Goma. Yes. Okay, and I'm pretty sure we just beat Goma. Mission successful. Yeah, so that was the up. That was that, that whole battle. That was pretty quick. We took out that huge thing. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure now we're going to be getting Lana. This girl. For generations, Hyruleans have told the tale of the war across the ages. This is how it begins. Deep in the forests, far from mortal eyes, a great sorceress watched over the balance of the Triforce. Through her magic, she could see across ages able to read the fates of all who lived, but never interfering. That is, until a unique soul caught her attention. The soul of the hero of legend, eternally reborn when Hyrule's need is greatest. Through her powers, the sorceress should have seen that the hero was bound to another. Instead, she saw only a soul that was unlike any she had known. And while the sorceress was preoccupied, a fragment of darkness Locked in its prison, saw an opportunity. The whispering darkness wormed its way into her heart. It pushed the light away and warped her curiosity into a desperate desire to possess the legendary hero's soul.
Of course, this evil had its own desires. To use the Triforce to resurrect itself and conquer Hyrule once again. Having pushed the light from her heart, the darkness compelled her to open the Gate of Souls, the doorway of time itself. Monsters from across the ages pour through the gate, bringing ruin to the land of Hyrule once more. Wow. So that's Sia, I'm pretty sure they're talking about. And we got a new goddess's heart. Another new goddess's heart. Another new goddess's heart. We got the heavy Gibdo sword. Goma's acid. Gibdo bandage. And metal plate. And we filled out another space in our illustration. And now we can battle as Lana, like I thought we would be able to. And we got a new weapon. Spirit's Tomb. Or Tome. A magical tome held by a guardian of dimensions. Use the strong attack button to leap ahead. Leaping from magic walls you created detonates them, damaging any nearby foes. Ooh! The smithy is now open for business. You can use it to combine weapon skills by fusing weapons. Press plus now to go to the bazaar. Yeah, let's check out the smithy. At the smithy, you'll be able to en enhance the weapons you your warriors use. Go ahead and choose a warrior to take to the bazaar. Um, let's take Link, because I, I know I have some good stuff for him. Good, now let's try out the smithy. Okay, smithy. Select base weapon. Uh, let's do Hylian Sword. Um, I think what I want to do is... Oh, you can only choose one that has an empty slot. Um, here, let's use this one. Um, and select source weapon. Where's the one that has strength for this one? Yes. And let's fuse weapons. Uh, yeah. So yeah, now we have that sword, but with strength four. Awesome. So, let's go back here. Well, that was fun. So, we just finished the Sorceress of the Woods. In the next episode, we're going to be doing the Sorceress of the Valley. Hope you guys had a fun time watching, because I had a fun time playing. See you next time, guys. Bye.